Us Brits call them MPVs, but to the Americans, they're minivans. And in the case of the Ford Tornado Connects, the Yanks have actually got it right because this car is based on a van. Ford has taken the Transit Connect, removed the bulkhead, fitted some rear seats and windows, et voila, van becomes minivan. Or, or should that be MPV? Now you might be wondering, why the heck would you bother buying one of these strange looking things instead of a normal people carrier like a Ford C-Max? Well, this is about a couple of grand cheaper, plus it's more practical as I'll demonstrate now. Take the boot for example, it is absolutely huge and the load height is low and has no lip so it's easy to slide things in and out. With the rear seats in place, the boot is way bigger than a normal MPV's. With them tumbled forward, it's cavernous, and with them removed, it's positively van-like. Though, that's because it's actually a van that's pretending to be a car. Vans have sliding doors because it makes it easier to load items into the load bay. And in this case, it makes it easier to load people inside the cabin. It's also very easy to open the door in tight spaces. And when you're back here, you realize there's loads of knee room. It's a very wide body, so you can easily fit three people abreast and headroom. Well, I'm not, I'm not exactly wanting for headroom. In fact, I can almost stand up in here. Look at this, loads of space. And if you need to carry more people, you can even get a seven seater version. In car storage, or should that be in van storage, is good too, especially as you get some handy roof bins which add an extra bit of practicality. You can get the Tourneo Connect with a choice of petrol and diesel power. There's a 1 litre turbo petrol which is surprisingly nippy and reasonably economical. But the sensible choice is the 1.6 litre diesel, which in its most economical guise can return 61 miles per gallon. You know, I keep calling this thing a van. Well, the van is actually based on, shares its platform with the Ford Focus, only it has slightly cruder rear suspension. The result is that over bumps, it's not quite as composed, but generally it's reasonably comfy and it actually handles pretty well. Now, I won't go as far as to say it was anyway fun to drive. This is a car for getting you and your family from A to B. But compared to other van-based MPVs, such as the Citroen Berlingo, it's light years ahead of them. One of the things I really like about this is, of course, the raised driving position. Now, as I've got my seat at the moment, I'm slightly higher than normal cars, but I can actually, watch this, jack the seat up. There we go, look, all the way, and regardless of how tall you are, because you've got so much headroom, <laughs> it's like I'm in some kind of child's high chair driving down the road, and now I've got a great view over other cars, if a little bit closer to the steering wheel. There we go, that's better. And overall, I have to say in this thing, all-round visibility is brilliant because you've got huge wing mirrors there, you've got loads of glass, and you can just see exactly what's going on, which is handy in something that's quite big like this. Unlike some other van-based people carriers, the Tourneo Connect has plenty of safety kit as standard, including six airbags and electronic anti-skid control. So long as you avoid the entry model, normal equipment is decent enough too. For instance, this range-topping titanium has dual-zone climate control, Bluetooth streaming for the stereo, and a glass roof. For me, this is about as good as a van-based MPV gets. And if all you care about is practicality and value, that's it, job done, review over. However, if you do care about some other things such as refinement, well, this car's van-based origins do betray it. For instance, the, the diesel engine, it's, it's quite rattly in here because you don't get that much sound insulation. I don't know if you can just hear it. It kind of echoes around the big body as well. It just reverberates around the cabin. And that big body also gives you quite a bit of wind noise when you're traveling at speed. This cost cutting is also evident in the materials. Yes, the dash may look similar to Ford's normal cars, but there's no plush soft touch plastics to be found anywhere, while the seats feel rather cheap and squidgy. Speaking of which, what you couldn't see when we showed you the boot montage was how you need two fully grown strong men to remove the rear seats because they're just that heavy. 
Finally, there's the looks. Okay, so Ford has tried its best to give the Tourneo Connect a distinctive face, but there's only so much you can do to make a boxy van look appealing. Now, if none of that bothers you, then, like I said before, this is the best van-based MPV you can buy. Or should that be best van-based minivan you can buy? However, if you want something cheaper, then you should check out our review of the Citroen Berlingo by clicking up there. Or if you want a normal car-based MPV, then it makes sense to check out our review of the Ford C-Max by clicking down here. If you click here, you can see our very latest video review. And if you click up there, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel.